I'm going to describe the website we've created to help learn chemical engineering. So we have extensive resources, the website locations given here. And then you've noticed that most of this has been funded by National Science Foundation with significant support from the University of Colorado Boulder, in particular the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering, and some additional funding from Chevron and Shell. And then most recently, the Cash Corporation has provided some funding for maintaining and keeping this website online. So let me show you the type of resources that we have for chemical engineering. I'll do this very briefly. And the best way to get familiar is to go to the website and look in more detail. But what we have are screencasts. These are short, typically less than 10 minutes. And they're used to teach various aspects of chemical engineering and to do example problems, describe how to use diagrams, describe how to use software. We also have what we call interactive self-study modules. These are modules that contain information from various resources, screencasts, concept tests, interactive simulations, spreadsheets, etc. And they're for one specific topic. The idea is they take approximately an hour to go through and hopefully explain a topic such as Ralph's Law for Vapor Liquid Equilibrium. We now have more than 300 interactive computer simulations. More than 100 of these will play directly in browsers. The rest are Mathematica versions of simulations and require a free player that you download. We've recently added boot camps for Python, Excel, and MATLAB, and these include screencasts, many example files, PowerPoint presentations that show some of the details of the, the various files. We're currently adding digital experiments. We have now 16 digital experiments, and these are experiments that take approximately a half hour, created in cooperation with Washington State University. And we also have three virtual laboratories. So these are much more extensive digital experiments that are equivalent to something that might be done in an undergraduate senior lab. Our instructor resources are available if you email us and ask for access, and that's explained on the website. The largest fraction of the material are concept tests that can be used in class with clickers, student response systems, to emphasize the important concepts in chemical engineering for all of the core courses. We have a number of additional resources, such as material to prepare for the FE exam and the PE exam, polymath computer problems, solutions, examples, and spreadsheet calculations. And also significant resources on techniques to improve how to study, how to learn. And then I mentioned the FE exam and the spreadsheets. And so these resources are free. We certainly like any feedback you would like to provide. And hopefully they'll make it easier not just for learning chemical engineering, but also for instructors who teach chemical engineering.